I would like to dedicate this piece to the malleable spirit of the Iranian who can live so many contradictions at the same time and laugh them off and at times cry them. You all know that in Iran, nothing is possible, yet everything is possible. We have great grudges against the Western media and the image of Iran they convey. All those who have visited the country are surprised and return with their stories, which they share with friends, and some of which are easily available on the internet. So I truly believe that the question of getting permits to do research is not posed in a correct way. I have recently heard of a few second generations from English-speaking countries coming for research. Their parents had sent them to their relatives to stay and the research topics related to Tehran. Perhaps they did not dare to send their children raised in the West to rural areas, not to speak of pastoral nomads where anthropologists did their work during the 1960s and 1970s. Today, important questions are related to civil society, women, nose operation, and of course, the eternal women's headdress. Beyond the fact that there are large numbers of young people engaging in recreation, fun, and the alternative paradigm dreaded, paradigms dreaded by the members of the regime averse to fun, and here I'm quoting Bayat there, um, these young people are engaging in fun in visible ways and are appropriating this public sphere in their cars, in their parks, and walking the streets of Tehran with alternative st styles of hair, dress, makeup, and comportment. Members of the regime are not able to police the increasing numbers of youth who participate in what they deem un-Islamic behaviors and are not able to patrol the hundreds of cafes, thousands of parties, or millions of young people in their cars listening to un-Islamic music or behaving in ways in which threatens the moral order of the state. In the words of one of my interlocutors, our quiet revolution might be triumphing. You know, traffic, it's not momentarily situation in Tehran. It's a part of our life. and. Year after year, we, we have learned to enjoy this, and <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> and for instance, listening music, it's a it's really important act inside of car. And I think my generation uh, have a lot of, has a lot of memories inside of car, especially love memories. 